What's your seal? He was Nick. Sure seal. Sure seal. Sure seal. He was crack. He was slick. Sure seal. Sure seal. Sure seal. Ang pantapal na he was crack. Mula sa Jardin Distribution.
ang bahay na nasulignin, protektado laban sa aray. Tanging sulignin ang kaya magbigay ng Total Thermite Solution. Soilguard, para hindi makadaan ang anay sa lupa. At sulignin, para protektado ang kahoy laban sa anay, bukbok at fungi. Para may total protection laban sa anay, isulignin ang kahoy at isoilguard ang lupa. Sulignin, the Total Thermite Solution. Ang bahay na nasulignin, protektado laban sa aray. Tanging sulignin ang kaya magbigay ng Total Thermite Solution. Soilguard, para hindi makadaan ang anay sa lupa. At sulignin, para protektado ang kahoy laban sa anay, bukbok at fungi. Para may total protection laban sa anay, isulignin ang kahoy at isoilguard ang lupa. Sulignin, the Total Thermite Solution. Soligno, mahigit isang daan taon ng tried, tested, at trusted sa pagbibigay proteksyon laban sa anay at ngayon. Pinakikilala ang Soligno'm all around. Gamit ang microemulsion technology kaya nanunuot sa kahoy, walang irritating smell at environment friendly para iwas anay, fungi, at bukbok. Soligno'm all around protects your home on and on and on. Soligno'm tried, tested, and trusted. Bagong Zap AK Insect Killer, patay sila agad in one zap. Dahil may fast killing power ang Zap AK. Mapaipis, lamok o langaw, knockdown agad. So switch to Zap AK Insect Killer, the fast killing insecticide from Jardin Distribution.
ko. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, partners. My name is Tichi Chu. Can I have a ting-ting from our director if I am? Ayan, so naririnig naman po pala ako. So, good morning mga partners. My name is Pichi Chu and welcome to our Jardin Live presented by Solignum All Around. Kahit po hapon, we always greet each other good morning because it's always a good day, a start of every day. At yan po ay pinagpapasalamat natin, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, ng pandemya that uh, for us to be al- uh, alive every day is really a good good blessing ayan so welcome sa inyo mga partners let me see your comments aba ang dami <laughs> ang dami nang nandito sa aming chat hello mac elijah matthew rafael maridel carlo Um, Architect Russell, hello, Andre, Catherine, Alexandra, Mary Jo, hindi ko po lahat mababasa, but thank you, thank you very much for joining us today. Alam niyo po ba na I have a very, very special guest ngayon po. I have two special guests this afternoon as we talk about the benefits of bamboo as a building material. And of course, ano po, ano ang kanyang mga benefits and How can we sustain the use of bamboo? At napakabigaten ng aking mga guests ngayon. I'm very, very honored to have with me, okay, someone from Base Bahay, an NGO or an organization that really has a good advocacy. And of course, our representative from our government, from the Department of Natural Resource, later we will meet them. So we're inviting everyone, we're inviting everyone to watch on YouTube. Kapag kayo ay nasa YouTube, abangan nyo lamang po. Meron tayong free zap roach bait. Ayan po, ipipin natin yan sa ating comment section. And then, yung ating pong mga magsha-share. Caring is sharing and sharing is loving. So pakishare nyo na ngayon sa inyong mga wall ang ating live event ngayon. Para po yung mga makikinabang sa magandang talakayan natin ngayon ay magaganap pa. No? So we're inviting everyone to watch us on our YouTube. And of course, sa ating mga Kalazada Natics, hello also sa inyong lahat. Ngayon is a very good day for us to learn. Okay? Napaka-exciting ng pag-uusapan natin. But also a good day also to earn mga vouchers po natin. So later may mga trivia rin tayo. So mamaya yan, abangan ninyo. Caring is sharing. Mga partners, sayain ng ating mga classmates. Marami po tayong mga estudyante ngayon. Kapagkat sila ay babibigyan ng certificate later on para po um, magamit nila no sa kanilang mga uh, practical Um, activities and of course napaka importante because they are our future architects and engineers so definitely they will learn a lot from the use of bamboo and bamboo as a building material ano ba ang kanilang maitutulong para maikampanya rin ito so mga students welcome and again please don't forget later you have to answer some survey so you'll be given your certificate Okay? Sa mga partners, bago tayo magpatuloy, alam nyo ba last month ang ating topic as anong waterproofing ba dapat? Sa pagkatagulan, ang daming nagtatanong sa atin, humihingi sa atin ng tulong. Ano ba ang dapat kong gawin sa mga tumutulo kong bubong, sa mga tumatagas kong mga pader? Pinalakay natin yan ng ating 99 Live. Kung hindi nyo napanood, we have a very special preview for you para ma-excite kayo. And definitely, you can check this out, the whole episode, sa ating YouTube channel. So, don't forget to subscribe. Meanwhile, let's watch Ano Bang Naganap Nung 99. Ano waterproofing ba dapat for roof deck? Optimum flex. Ano waterproofing ba dapat for firewall? Optimum flex. 
I am water cooling by that as a stove. So, 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 Super Torosil. And of course, ang ating active lead po, Joyce and Crocs. Ang ating water plug. Okay, so in that note, tayo rin magpapaalam na. How can? Maraming salamat din sa pag-imbita, Miss Peach. Alright, hanggang sa pag-i, ako po sa PG2, ang kapal ng inyong kapag-i-dakan, sa pag-i-dakan, 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 sa pag
So, Engineer Jesse, I'll give the screen to you. Walk us through what is base bahay at ano po ang inyong mga hangarin para sa ating mga kapartners. Yes, uh, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Uh, good day po, Ma'am Pete, at saka sa ating bisita. Uh, magandang araw din po sa ating mga audience, listeners po, via uh, Streamlight Live. Uh, thank you po din, Jarden, for the opportunity and the privilege po to share our technology and what Base Buy is uh, doing. So, konting background na po in, on my side. Uh, I'm Jesse Martinson Gallardi, uh, civil engineer by profession. I started working Base Buy since 2014 as a site engineer. And then 2017 po, nangkaroon po tayo ng knowledge and learning about uh, bamboo treatment, especially using the permitrin or yung product ng solignum that is uh, solignum exterior concentrate. Yun po yung gamit namin for the treatment. And noong 2020 po, we have the opportunity to work in Nepal and partnership with Habitat Nepal and we able to build 37 houses in Nepal. And recently po, this time of pandemic, I got promoted po as the head of the technical support engineer of Big Ah, uh, Next slide po. So, Base Bahai is a non-profit organization that build a permanent, disaster resilient, eco-friendly houses for socialized housing. So, Base Bahai is uh, funded and initiated by the Hilti Foundation. So, pag sinabi natin Hilti Foundation or yung Hilti, ito po yung uh, company that sells power tools like uh, drills, jackhammer, angle grinders, and uh, anchors. So, yun po yung uh, number one po donor and uh, funding uh, source po ng base bahay. Uh, next slide po. Ma. So, a brief history po ng base bahay. So, simula po ng 2011, nagkaroon po ng research yung Healthy Foundation to test po ng possible na gamit ng bamboo uh, for the construction of uh, houses, especially po uh, structure grade bamboo. And then, uh, noong 2012 po, we built the, the first three uh, testing house doon po sa Ginobatan Albay. And then, uh, by 2015, we, we completed the first uh, three projects po in Iloilo and Estancia Iloilo po. And 2016 po, we registered as Base Bahay and nakakuha tayo ng accreditation po sa iTech for the technology. And so far po, at this moment of time po, we able to build uh, 800 uh, houses all throughout the Philippines. Next slide po. So the need for socialized housing. So we know that the housing gap in the Philippines no, from the 2017-2022 data is umabot po ng around 7 million. So, ganun po kalaki yung housing gap dito sa Pilipinas. And dahil din po na nasa tropical region tayo or nasa tropical area, uh, nakakaranas po tayo ng nasa 20 po typhoon per year. And mostly of the Filipinos po, nasa 26 million po is nabubuhay po uh, under uh, 50 pesos per day. So, sa, laking problem, sa napakalaking problema po nito sa social housing or yung social gap dito sa Philippines, so we are not po, no? Uh, we are just only the part of solution, no? We know naman po na we cannot provide all the solution, but somehow po, the base bahay po uh, as part of the solution po for the housing gap, housing gap po ng Pilipinas. Uh, next slide po. So, sa ngayon, uh, ang tanong, saan po nagsimula yung technology natin? So, base bahay po, inadapt po yung technology na tinatawag nating Bahariki system. So, ito po yung technology na kung saan po ay uh, isa po siyang share wall system na ginagamitan po ng bamboo, uh, metal connection, and cement plaster. So, pag sinabi po natin na share wall system, uh, ito po yung walls na nagre-resist po ng lateral force galing po sa typhoon or sa wind at saka po sa earthquake. And uh, itong technology na ito po ay may mahabang kasaysayan po from the Latin America, particularly po sa Colombia, sa Peru, sa Ecuador, and to be exact po, nasa 200 years na po yung technology na ito, hindi lang po yung technology, 
uh, mismo po yung building hanggang ngayon po nakatayo yan no since uh, since uh, 19th century hanggang ngayon po nakatayo po yung mga building na yan at napakatibay po and sa ngayon po we have also uh, bamboo standards in code po for construction uh, next slide and dito po sa Pilipinas as we replicate po yung sistema uh, based po nagkanda po ng test to determine the mechanical properties of bamboo especially po yung paggamit ng ating local uh, bamboo species ang uh, tinatawag na kawayang tinik in dialect ang um, scientific name po nito is bamboo sabluminiana and speaking po sa mechanical properties ang tinitest po natin dito is yung uh, bending strength yung compressive 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 strength ng bamboo at the same time po yung tensile strength ng bamboo which is very important po para sa pag-design po ng ating uh, bahay or ng ating structure. So, next slide. Please. So, to prove po ng ating technology or ng ating concept, gumawa po tayo ng tatlong test build houses po sa Ginobatan Albay. And very impressive po yung resulta. Hanggang ngayon po, nakatayo po yung mga bahay na yan. At saka dalawang beses po yan, tinamaan ng Bagyong Glenda at saka Bagyong Ruby noong 2014. At saka yung bahay na ito is talagang proven na nakapag-resist po ng typhoon. Uh, based po sa record niya is nakapagtala po ng 200 to 240 kilometers per hour po ng wind or yung typhoon na dumaan dyan po. So ganyan po kalakas po yung, yung technology natin in terms of typhoon. Next slide po. And as a result po, uh, nabuo po natin yung sistema na kung saan po yung ating technology or yung ating bahay is earthquake resistant po siya, typhoon resistant, fire resistant po in terms po sa kanyang wall system kasi meron siyang cement plaster or tinatawag nating cladding. And the same time po, ang pinaka dito is insect resistant siya uh, because of uh, yung tamang proseso po sa treatment at the same time po yung tamang chemical na ginagamit natin and to mention po yung paggamit po natin ng uh, soligmum exterior concentrate na uh, nakuha po namin doon sa jardin. And yung tawag po sa technology na ito is po yung cement bamboo frame technology and also accredited po ng ITEC under po yan sa National Housing Authority or NHA. Uh, next slide po. So why bamboo? So maraming natatanong bakit bamboo yung ginagamit uh, because first yung bamboo po is marami po siyang benefits in terms of livelihood nakapagbigay po ng livelihood ito sa ating mga farmers para maging part po sila ng construction value chain and in terms naman po sa sa growth napakabilis po tumubo yung bamboo in fact po we can harvest po ng matured poles uh, from 3 to 5 years compared po sa kahoy na Kailan po natin maghintay ng 25 to 40 years bago po natin magamit. And third po, in terms of construction po, the technology or the base bahay houses uh, only contribute po no, 60% less ng carbon footprint uh, compared po natin doon sa conventional or CHB houses. And the same time po, yung pang-apat na benefits po niya, uh, based po doon sa mga experience mismo ng mga beneficiaries natin and based din po sa thermal comfort test na kinandak po natin doon sa Iloilo is talagang malamig po yung bahay. So it means po na less po yung consumption ng mga tao doon sa electricity kasi nga uh, malamig po yung bahay compared po sa conventional houses. So next slide po. So in terms of construction process, uh, ito po yung uh, basic po na process na ginagawa natin para mabuo yung isang CVFT, CVFT house. So, first yan is gumagamit po tayo ng uh, conventional na foundation. Uh, gamit po yung hollow block, cemento, bakal. So, ganun na po yung kataas yung uh, foundation natin. At least po nasa 30 cm from the ground. So, kailangan lang makaangat po para hindi po ma-expose yung uh, bamboo panels natin doon sa natural ground line. And then, we do the panel publication. Usually po yung publication area natin is malapit lang din po kung saan po yung ating mga bait na tinatayo or pwede po din siya gawin doon sa ating treatment facilities. And yung pangatlong stage po yun, yung pag-install pag po ng panel mismo doon sa site. And we also using the metallic mesh or yung riblat 
kung saan po kakapit yung semento. And after that, we do the cladding or the cement plaster para i-protect po yung bamboo natin, especially po in terms of sunog, in terms of ulan at saka init. And then po, we put the roofing. Uh, makita po natin na yung structure po ng frame niya is uh, made of bamboo and minimal lang po yung paggamit ng kahoy. And finally po, yung finished product po natin is mukha po siyang concrete house. So, ang purpose po ng ganyan itsura niya, at the same time po, yung purpose talaga ng cement plaster outside is to protect yung houses natin from uh, ulan. Kasi isa din po sa mga ka kaaway ng bambo, except doon sa insekto, is yung tubig. So, and then also, uh, statistically, maganda po yung bahay natin. Nagmumuka po siyang concrete house. Next slide po. So, what we have completed right now, uh, so far, we built 800 houses in 10 communities around the Philippines. So, to mention the few po, we have uh, completed projects in Tacloban, and particularly in Palanog. We have also completed projects in Silay Negros Occidental that is in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. And we also completed a series of projects in Iloilo that's in partnership with the Homeless People's Federation. So, yan po yung mga completed project nam uh, namin uh, so far. Uh, next slide po. And we're not only building po ng socialized housing, we have also special structures po na, na built na po, katulad po ng orphanage dyan po sa Batangas. And then we have also uh, treatment facilities po in Batangas po. In, yan po yung uh, bamboo structures po that made of, uh, ano po, na ginagawa po siyang treatment facility. We also built a community center doon po sa Silay Negros Occidental. Uh, yan po yung venue for meetings, venue for events po ng community. At the same time po, we also building a uh, livelihood center po para doon po sa ating partner po sa may Nasugbo, Batangas. Next slide po. And this year po, we have also different projects po uh, in different region of the Philippines po. Dito po sa Pilipinas. Uh, first po, yan yung opisina po ng Kanya Kawain Office. Uh, in partnership po yan po sa Ruas Foundation sa Batangas. Uh, pangalawa po sa picture, yan po yung Indigenous People House po for Bukidnon in partnership with Hiniliban Foundation. Uh, pangatlo po, uh, story, uh, Two Story House in partnership with uh, Antonio Florindo Foundation. Itong bahay na ito po is para po sa mga banana plantation farmers po ng Tadeco. And yung pang-apat po na project namin is dito sa Dumaguete with Kawain Collective. So itong bahay na ito po is not really a socialized house but it is already a residential house po ng facility partner namin. So the adaptive technology and we provide po ng technical uh, expertise po dito sa paggawa ng bahay. Okay, next slide po. So, so far, uh, this is uh, na po, this is uh, one of the ambitious goal po uh, of Base Bahay in partnership with the uh, Habitat for Humanity and the Healthy Foundation to build po ng 10,000 houses po for in 2025. And so far, as of this year po, we completed po the first 200 houses in Silay Negros Occidental and then sa uh, taon din po ito, sisimulan po namin pag, yung pag-build po ng another 230 units po doon po sa San Carlos, Negros Occidental. And the rest of the Negros po, we will be building more of these houses para mamit po yung ating target na 10,000 houses po. And next slide po. So, in terms of treatment, uh, base bahay po, develop po a, a special treatment Una-una uh, po dyan, we do the cleaning. We submerge po the bamboo doon sa running water para matanggal po yung starch. Kasi yung starch, yun po yung number one na pagkain ng bukbok or yung powdered beetle. And then we do the treatment po. And sa treatment po, we are using the solignum exterior concentrate. So yun po yung uh, chemical na ginagamit namin. At saka po yung kagandahan dito, sa solignum exterior concentrate is 16 hours lang po yung pagbabad namin sa chemical at saka wala po siyang disposal. So wala po siyang harmful effect doon sa environment kasi wala kaming disposal. In case po na maubos yung chemical, we just uh, refill po the, the tank and then after that, we do the final drying. So in this case po, dahil po treated po yung kahoy natin, 
So, may ensure po natin na yung bahay natin is magla-last po siya, katulad po ng other conventional houses na nabibuilt natin. And right now, we have uh, five uh, different treatment facilities partners all throughout the Philippines na nagsusupply po ng construction grade uh, bamboo sa atin. So, to name the few po, we have uh, ba uh, bamboo treatment facility in Batangas, we have a uh, bamboo treatment facility in Bunsha that is in Negros Occidental, we have in Domagueti that is in Negros Oriental, we have in Bukidnon, and we have in Davao. And most of them po, they are using po the, the solignum exterior concentrate for the treatment. Uh, next slide po. And Page Innovation Center, in line po with our commitment that Base Bahay po is, uh, will do the innovation, will uh, do the further development po for the bamboo industry. We ensure po ng base po na tuloy-tuloy po yung pag-research in terms of technology, pag-optimize po yung paggamit ng kawayan, no? uh, except po doon sa nasanayan namin na paggamit ng bamboo po as uh, building materials. And uh, we have also a collaboration po with universities and research institute globally po we have partnership with the global universities and we have also partnership po with the local universities dito sa Pilipinas katulad po ng Dilasal ng UP at saka Santo Tomas excuse me next slide po <coughs> excuse me po And as we, ano po, scaling up po ng technology, uh, base bahay po is uh, patuloy po uh, na pag-provide po natin ng expertise uh, ng ating uh, technology doon sa ating partners. And then we continues po to improve our current technology system, including po yung pag-simplify ng ating proseso at saka procedure. And saka po doon sa ating mga partners, we conduct po ng intensive training po para ma-insure po yung tamang pag-build po ng ating uh, houses na naayon po doon sa design. Uh, next slide po. So lastly po, uh, we are inviting po everyone to to partner with us and nakikita po dyan sa slide po yung mga contact details uh, if you want to partner with Base Buy to build more houses po all throughout the Philippines. And maraming salamat po and God bless po. Thank you, Mom Peach. have attained today can supplement the practice of their future profession as architects and engineers. Good morning to our students and future professionals from Adamson University. building block for you to grow and nurture your learning and passion to be a future architect someday. So, maraming salamat po, Jardine Distribution, through this Jardine University. Maraming salamat po. Uh, 
uh, career center is really concerned about how we can deliver career developments or program specific trainings uh, on these trying times. So thank you very much, Mampichi, and for the for the Jardin uh, team for uh, bringing this uh, program specific training. for us to have a sort of separation from our peers in terms of what uh, we can bring to the table, what additional things to bring to the table. And hopefully, with preservation and with conservation, could be one of them. So I would thank um, Jardin Philippines and also our build side track for facilitating this webinar. And um, I hope this could be the first of the many. Congratulations naman kay Engineer Jesse, partner! Talaga naman promotion dyan, sa burger naman. Thank <laughs> you. Ay, I'm very happy to hear that, Engineer, ha? Kasi matagal-tagal na rin tayong nag-e-email, nag-uusap about base bahay. And you deserve it! Maraming maraming salamat naman sa iyong mga coaches dyan for your promotion, Engineer. Sabi nga ni Anna Asek, ngayon lang daw yung narinig ang base bahay. Totoo po yan. At actually, uh, they're very silent in terms of their advocacy. And we've been inviting them before. But now, I'm very happy that you are, um, you know, sharing with us your advocacy. Kasi napakaganda, Engineer Jesse, ng inyong advocacy. Yeah, no? So, thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Ayan. Okay. Sige. So, those who have questions for Engineer Jesse, uh, mag-chat lamang po kayo. At meanwhile, ay tayo naman ay magpapatrivia muna, engineer. Pakulo-kulo muna tayo para pampadising, okay? Sa so, trivia time! How many years to grow a structural grade bamboo? Oy, ABCD lang yan, mga students. mini 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 mo. So, A, 1 to 2 years. B, 3 to 5 years. And C, 6 to 8 years. The first to answer in the comment section will win a prize. Lazada voucher, 100 peso. Okay, alam nyo ba habang nagaantay tayo ng winner? Did you know? Okay, we celebrated World Bamboo Day last September 18 lamang. Oh, may World Bamboo Day pa pala. Okay, so ano ba ang World Bamboo Day? Ito daw yung day of celebration to increase awareness of bamboo. So, sakto-sakto ang FB Live natin. Pumasok pa naman tayo sa September. Kaya naman po, kaisa tayo ng ating mga kasamahan sa base bahay at of course later ni Asek sa DNR on celebrating World Bamboo Day. Congratulations, partner Eduardo Butak Jr. Ay, tama ang iyong sagot. Ikaw ay magwawagi, mananalo ng 100 peso Lazada voucher. Engineer Jesse, at this point, I'd like to thank you for your time at congratulations again. And mabuhay po ang base bahay. Maraming maraming salamat din, base bahay, sa pagtitiwala nyo sa Solignum all around bilang kapartner nyo in protecting and preserving the bamboo na ginagamit nyo po sa inyong mga projects. Salamat, Engineer Jesse. Baka gusto mong may batiin, Engineer, yung makasamahan natin dyan sa base bahay. Go! Uh, una po, salamat po ma'am sa Jardin at uh, continue support po sa base bahay. Uh, tama po yung slogan po that caring for Filipino homes po. Kasi majority po ng mga tao is takot gumamit ng bambu kasi ang number one perception nila is yung anay bukbok. But dahil sa tulong po ng using the solignum, napalaking bagay po to convince po. Especially po yung mga bagong uh, partners namin na nag-aalangan po in terms of bambu. So we, we ensure them po na well-treated po yung bambu. And thank you po Sir Joseph for giving me a chance po to conduct this kind of presentation and salamat po sa lahat and God bless po. Thank you, Engineer. Regards, Joseph. 
thank you very much for having um for for giving us your time at saka syempre si allowing Mr. Engineer Jesse to be with us and share your advocacy. Sorry guys lahat sa mga partners namin diyan sa base bahay. Palaging mag-ingat Engineer Jesse hanggang sa muli. Bye po. Right so as I was saying, we are celebrating Bamboo Month no September. So lahat naman po ng mga efforts ng ating DNR makikita nyo sa kanilang Facebook page and I'm very honored Okay, napanood ko si Asek actually in one of her talks, I think in a European Chamber, no? And I, I saw her really, um, someone who's very empowered, I would say. That was my impression when I saw her um, during that talk. And I said, I'd like to have Asek Joanne in our Facebook Live because I wanted her to share her knowledge and expertise on bamboo and definitely to have an empowered woman dito sa ating live event. So, welcome po, Asek Joanne Lagunda. Hi! Hello. Good afternoon. Kamusta po kayo, Asek? I'm good. Work from home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Thank you very much po. I know you are very busy. Lalong lalo na ang ating uh, mga projects niyo po sa DNR. So, we really appreciate na meron kayong time for us and to share with us your expertise on bamboo. So, hindi ko na po patatagalin. Ano po, Asek? I'll give the screen to you so you can share with us your thoughts on our um, on bamboo as a building material. Asek. Okay. Okay, so magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Bambuhay! Um, ikinagagala ko na naanyayahan po ako sa online event, event na ito ng Jardin Distribution Incorporated. Naway sa hapong ito ay mabigyan ko ng hostisya itong topics na binigay niyo sa akin para po sa webinar na ito. Okay, this is the outline of my presentation. First, as an appetizer, I will discuss the bamboo species and statistics in the Philippines and some overview and about the policy of the bamboo. Second is the potential of bamboo to the business sector, which is the meat of my presentation. And last is the dessert, um, other relevant matters about bamboo. Okay, let's begin. Handa na ba kayo? So, bamboos belong to the grass family called Poaceae and are characterized by having a woody and hollow stems. So, sa lahat ng uh, nanunood, sa lahat ng nandito sa live, tingnan nga natin kung paano natin i-pronounce itong grass family na ito. So, later, mamaya, magtatawag po yung staff ko kung sino yung may uh, tamang pronunciation, magbibigay po ako ng 100 na load. So, please stay tuned at makinig po tayong lahat. So, again, this is characterized as the having woody and hollow stems. Okay. So, as a quick overview, um, there is an executive order number 879 which is the creation of the Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Council on May 14, 2010. So directed the use of bamboo for at least 25% of the desk and other furniture requirements of public elementary and secondary schools. Prioritization in the use of bamboo in furniture, fixtures, and other construction requirements of government facilities. These are the bamboo industry goals and achievement in a national perspective. I am just uh, showing to you um, what are those initiatives under this industry and the achievements so far. So the first five-year cycle of the bamboo, Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Program is enacted by Congress and approved by the President. So these are some of the goals and the achievements so far in the bamboo industry in the national perspective. And the two gentlemen are the champion in terms of bamboo-related policies. So there is a Senate Bill number 1478, 
which is the Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Act, or the Philbida, and House Bill Number 904, an act institutionalizing a Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Program. Showing the presentation is the characteristic of bamboo. So for the information of all the students and everyone, as discussed also with Engineer GSA in Bay, uh, Base Bahay, so I am just reiterating that bamboo is easy to propagate and has wide range of adaptability from sea level to 1,800 meters above sea level and a very good landscaping material. Throughout the world, there are an estimated of 1,000 species of bamboos belonging to about 90 genera. In Southeast Asia, around 20% or 200 species of bamboo can be found belonging to 20 genera. So for the information of everyone, genera is the plural of genus, which is in biology means a taxonomic category ranking below a family and above a species and designating a group of species that are presumed to be closely related and usually exhibit similar characteristics. So in the Philippines, based on the 2005 Conto Report on Bamboo Resources, there are 70 species of bamboos belonging to 18 genera. Out of the 70 species, 21 are endemic, or what we call the native Philippine bamboos, wherein 13 are climber and the other eight are iric bamboos. So of the 70 native bamboo species, 12 are recognized by the Food and Agriculture Organizations of Economic Importance. And the 12 are the following, Hawaiian Tinik, Kuayan Kiling, Bayog, Machiko, Bolo or Botong, Buho, Anos, Bulo Padi, Kayali, Laak, Morocco Chico, and the Giant Bamboo. The next part of my presentation is um, the potential of bamboo in the business sector. Is everyone excited? But I am excited. But before proceeding to the detailed discussion, let me first share with you this four-minute video on the potential of bamboo to the business sector by Ecosnoki published in YouTube last May 2020. Please play the first video. This plant is a jack of all trades. From bamboo, almost everything can be made dot because it is superior to all other plants and raw materials. Many people's experience of bamboo products is limited to sitting on bamboo furniture and matting, using bamboo baskets or using bamboo chopsticks to eat some bamboo shoots. The last 15 years had seen dramatic growth in the variety of commercial bamboo products such as flooring, laminated furniture, building panels, high-quality yarn and fabrics, activated carbon and bamboo extracts. The emergence of bamboo as a timber substitute has coincided with a growing demand for timber. Bamboo's appearance, strength and hardness combined with its rapid growth cycle and capacity for sustainable harvesting make it an increasingly attractive wood substitute. Bamboo is currently mostly used as a wood supplemental, or as a wood substitute. That was the most obvious solution, because blades can be harvested after maximum of five years, and the rhizoms automatically grow new stalks. A conifer can only be used after 100 to 110 years of growth, and an oak tree needs a minimum of about 80 years. Then trees must be replanted elsewhere. The market outlook for bamboo is strong. These recent developments have created new opportunities for bamboo markets to be targeted for rural development and poverty reduction. In particular, the emergence of near-source value adding in modern supply chains increases the sector's potential economic impact on poor rural communities. The feasibility study shows that in Vietnam today, every ton of bamboo used for producing bamboo flooring has almost five times the pro-poor financial impact than if it were used to make paper. Bamboo supplies 10% of the world's paper pulp. The cost per metric ton of paper is over US $700. It can be estimated that a plantation of giant bamboo with 200 bamboo clumps per hectare can give an annual yield of about 2,000 poles with biomass of as much as 50 metric tons of bamboo for the manufacture of paper pulp. 
50 metric tons of bamboo can yield 20 metric tons of paper pulp which at a cost of US $700 give a potential income of US $14,000 per hectare per year. Bamboo shoots are a nutritious vegetable. The export of canned bamboo shoots is a thriving industry in Indonesia and Thailand. Species suitable for edible shoot production are grown on a plantation scale. Such plantations provide both edible shoots and mature poles for construction and generate an income of over US $50 million per year. Bamboo charcoal and activated carbon are also in high demand. The manufacture of bamboo charcoal is a cottage industry in some parts of Africa. A study estimates that at present, bamboo markets have a combined annual value of approximately US $7 billion. Traditional products account for almost 95% of this value. Newer industries offer growth potential and are expected to rival traditional bamboo-related markets over the medium term. Markets for bamboo can be grouped into traditional and non-traditional or emerging markets. Demand remains strong in traditional markets such as handicrafts, blinds and bamboo shoots with profitable opportunities despite moderate growth. Other traditional markets, such as chopsticks, are highly commoditized with low growth and low profit margins. Emerging bamboo markets include flooring, building products and laminated furniture. These represent the largest growth opportunities for bamboo. Strong international demand coupled with China's export growth and existing bamboo-based industries has produced a growing bamboo sector within wood-based product industries. Supply problems, including the high demand for certified timber, create a positive market outlook for bamboo. Overall prospects for a diversified bamboo sector look strong. Okay, so I'm going to discuss now in detail the bamboo potentials and opportunities. And what are the uses of bamboo in our environment? So it is an extensive root system, maintains soil stability and prevents soil erosions, absorbs to 12 tons of carbon dioxide per hectare per year, very good rainwater harvester, good substitute for wood, thus will reduce pressure in our natural forest to supply the domestic wood requirements, effective wind breaker, prevent occurrences of flash floods, and good phytoremediation material. So in Asia, bamboo is known as the poor man's timber or poor man's gold or green gold because growing, harvesting, and processing are essential subsistence activities. It is mainly used for domestic consumption as a raw material for utensils, farm tools, and building materials for shelter, fences, bridges, and even water pipes. Bamboo is a versatile natural resource capable of providing ecological, economic, and livelihood security to people, which are the three pillars of sustainable development that is beneficial for both the society and the company or business. Now, these are the following, following applications of bamboo products. So bamboo is renewable, abundantly available, low cost, an environment friendly wood resource that gives hope for the struggling wood-based industry, given its characteristic of excellent strength. The wood industry is affected by numerous environmental policies and regulations on logging, timber, and because of the plastic industry. Consequently, bamboo has a tremendous economic potential with its significant applications and innovative products, as you witnessed in the video earlier. Nonetheless, let me present to you in detail some of the applications of bamboo products from a journal article written by Gopta and Komar entitled Potential of Sustainable Development published last 2008. Bamboo is most suitable for structural products due to its good mechanical and physical properties. The main application areas of bamboos are flooring, veneer, handicrafts, decorative board, sports equipment, and other building materials. Bamboo is also used as raw materials for pulp, paper, and panel board industries. Further, they are also used in numerous traditional ways such as for fencing, water pipes, fishing, 
umbrella handles, musical instrument, and decorative handicrafts. So um, I'm just going to flash to you the construction materials and how the, the uses of the bamboo. Considered as green steel, and um, actually, kanina di in, uh, in explain ni engineer Jesse, no, the strength and the compressive of the bamboo. So base panels, textile boards, and flooring. So bamboo base panels have been wildly used to um, manufacture bottom boards of vehicles, molding boards of construction, scaffoldings, and has partly taken the place of wood, steel, plastics, and uh, raw materials. Bamboo-based panels are products made from raw bamboo that went through series of mechanical and chemical procedures. So at least eight North um, American suppliers are importing and marketing tongue and groove flooring made from laminated bamboo, which is said to be as hard, durable, and dimensionally stable as oak or other hardwood flooring. Okay, these are the example of engineered bamboo products. Engineered bamboo products and the paper and textiles. Bamboo fibers are relatively long, like 1.5 to 3.2 millimeters and is ideal for paper production. Likewise, bamboo textiles are much softer than the softest cotton, wherein bamboo fiber-based fabrics are naturally antimicrobial due to the unagent called bambocon that prevents bacteria from cultivating. Bamboo clothing as well feels cooler in the summer but significantly warmer in the winter. It is also lighter, thus is more comfortable. For food, so bamboo shoots, new canes are harvested before they are two weeks old or one foot tall when they are crisp and tender. Bamboo shoots are low in fat and calories and are a good source of fiber that helps in keeping cholesterol level in check and plays a role in preventing colon cancer. So these are the following samples for the use of bamboo as a food. And then we have also bamboo beer. Mayroon para tayong bamboo beer. No? What are the health benefits of bamboo beer? So based on the study, it shows that bamboo, uh, bamboo bear has multiple health uh, benefits and can lower blood lipids, preventing heart diseases. And then showing to you the raw bamboo shoots, the nutritional value per 100 grams, the minerals, and the vitamins. And then the combustion and other bioenergy. So although most of the application of bamboo for combustion and other bioenergy are still in the works, Research and development on the use of bamboo as fuel for power generation in preference to sugarcane in Puerto Rico has already been undertaken as early as 1983. So charcoal and activated carbon. So I'm just showing to you the many different uses of bamboo aside from construction. Bamboo charcoal is traditionally used as a substitute for wood charcoal or mineral coal. Bamboo charcoal are good air purifiers that absorbs odor, moisture, and harmful gases. It is also a good water purifier as it filters and absorbs pollutants. So domestic applications include charcoal pillows, matrices, deodorizer in most moist places, and used to preserve freshness and refrigerator. So while agricultural application of bamboo charcoal are used to change soil structure, Eliminate negative uh, effects of pesticides to plants, increase soil temper temperature, and amount of water content. On the other hand, industrial applications include healthcare, gas masks, which are timely given the COVID-19 pandemic, absorbing radioactive xenon and krypton, safe disposal of water, and waste gases. So production of bamboo charcoal does not require a very high level of infrastructural and machinery investment. Therefore, the opportunity is open to micro, small, as well as medium enterprises. Lastly, activated bamboo charcoal can be used for cleaning the environment, absorbing excess moisture, and producing medicine. So bamboo housing, weaving handicrafts, and furniture. So in terms of housing, nakita natin kanina sa explanation and sa presentation, Engineer Jesse, how um, 
strong bamboo and uh, how the um, how do you call this the base bahai um, initiate that kind of uh, bamboo houses in the Philippines. So uh, I'm very interested because as far as a base bamboo is uh, concerned, wala akong nakita doon na may Mindanao kayo. So I hope na magkausap kami ni Engineer Jesse uh, para po magkaroon tayo ng bamboo project in the future, hopefully in Mindanao. So in terms of housing, the compressive strength of bamboo is roughly twice the compressive strength of concrete bamboo and has roughly the same tensile strength to weight the ratio as steel has. So there are three main types of bamboo housing as shown in the presentation. First is the traditional. Kanina nakita natin yung traditional bahareki, nakita natin kay Engineer Jesse, no? And the modern prefabricated bamboo style. Meron pa rin tayong bamboo charcoal, bamboo housing, and furniture. Uh, mga kagamitan natin na pwede natin gamitin pagdating sa uh, furniture natin sa bahay. And the tables and ch chairs as per executive order kanina na sinabi ko, eight, uh, EO879, that it requires 25% of public schools, tables and chairs should be made of bamboo. And then the textile, meron tayo. Pulp and paper, another uses of bamboo. Bamboo as medicine. Bamboo as the beauty products. Bamboo as the gadget casing. Meron din tayong bamboo as the carvings. And transportation as well. Aside from balsa, kasi alam natin, no? Balsa lang, pero pwede pala siya in different transportation scheme. And then bamboo as handicrafts. And other relevant matters about bamboos. Um, so for the dessert, um, other relevant matters about bamboo. Bamboo is beginning to take the limelight as the D in R and other national government agency pushes to prioritize bamboo planting. So in the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, bamboo is being prioritized for its enhanced national greening programs or our ENGP. It is also being promoted in the task force Build Back Better specifically in provinces hit by Typhoon Ulysses in 2020, such as Metro Manila, Cagayan Valley, and the Bicol region, wherein bamboos are being planted in major rivers, namely Marikina River, Cagayan River, and Bicol River to help address the soil erosion. So further, in the next video, um, you will see that planting bamboo is now advocated by the DNR together with the DTI and organizations of the mining industry for the rehabilitations of mining sites. Pero for me talaga, bamboo does not just give us business opportunities and environmental benefits, but it also teach us about life. There is this Japanese proverb that goes, the bamboo that bends, that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. So this is true in our life. So please play the second video. With over 70 species in the Philippines, eight of which are highly regarded for their commercial use and extensive applications, bamboo is the grass of hope. It is effective against soil erosion, landslides, and flooding. It is likewise the fastest growing plant for rehabilitating and revegetating mined out areas. It is a viable and dynamic substitute for wood, which can be made into everyday items like straws and tumblers, as well as furniture and even vehicles. However, there exists a lack of supply in raw materials, making it difficult for the bamboo industry to meet the mounting demand for their products. This also poses a challenge to the Department of Trade and Industry's mandate to grow the bamboo industry. On the other hand, the mining industry is facing challenges from President Rodrigo Duterte and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to reinvent itself and demonstrate what they can do for the country. This is where the Bamboo Initiative comes in. Through the Bamboo Initiative, the DTI, the DENR, and the mining industry will work together, guided by the Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Council Roadmap, to grow the bamboo industry by revegetating mined out areas with bamboo, while training mining communities to manufacture high value products using bamboo materials. Currently, 12 mining companies have planted X number of bamboo seedlings in 12 provinces across nine regions all over the country. 
We thank DNR Secretary Roy Simatu and his team and the Mining Chamber for mobilizing their groups, especially those mining companies that have started to expand the bamboo plantations, making use of the program for the rehabilitation of mined areas. Such programs not only bring back the fertility of the soil, but also provide good community livelihood opportunities for the people in and around those mined areas. As a fast-growing grass that releases 30% more oxygen than trees, bamboo can also be used as a means of mine rehabilitation. The mining industry can address environmental issues moving forward while also supporting nearby communities. Perfect combination for environmental enhancement and socio-economic upliftment, an enduring legacy. Secretary Zimato and the DNR have been eyeing bamboo for mine rehabilitation for some time now. Also, the Philippine Nickel Industry Association is now all in to bamboo for mine rehabilitation. On behalf of all our members, Board of Trustees and Officers, I would like to reiterate the Chamber of Mines' continuing support to the Bamboo Initiative. Doing this reinvents mining, emphasizing its role in creating opportunities for social enterprise. As the current chairperson of the Senate Committee on Agriculture and Food, I will continue to promote and support the Philippine bamboo industry. It will, in turn, create allied industries and jobs for Filipinos. This augurs well for many who depend on the bamboo industry for livelihood and income. We can achieve our goal of a bamboo industry as a major revenue and employment generator that helps protect the environment from climate conditions to come. In the end, we will be creating uh, more opportunities more jobs to be created, more income opportunities, and we will have a safer uh, environment for that matter. Through this collaboration, the DTI will increase the production of bamboo and thereby boost the growth of the bamboo industry. On the other hand, the DNR and the mining industry using bamboo, the help from DTI and the Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Council's Bamboo Roadmap will establish sustainable enterprises in the mining communities. The Bamboo Initiative empowers the DTI to fulfill the mandate of the Bamboo Industry Development Council, allows the DENR to revegetate land, and the mining industry to reinvent itself by creating truly sustainable enterprises for their communities and boosting the growth of the bamboo industry, thereby change the conversation around mining. With the Bamboo Initiative, everyone wins. Uh, we had uh, signing of the memorandum of uh, agreement to one of the university in Cagayan de Oro City for our bamboo setum project because I am advocating this one with our partners with ECCP. So we had this last September 15, uh, this uh, September 15, this month only, no, uh, this year, uh, establishment of a bamboo setum, a place where bamboo species are being collected and grown in Misamis Oriental for education, research, and tourism purposes for bamboo's aesthetics, recreational, and commercial value. So I'm also the concurrent executive director of the Pasig River Coordinating and Management Office. So that's why we also have this um, uh, initiative. Just recently, we celebrated the World Bamboo Day last September 8, 2021. And as an advocate of uh, bamboo, I make it a point that programs and activities on bamboos are incorporated in different portfolios I handle. So which is why we have the Pasig River Bamboo Rehabilitation and Beautification Project under the PRCMO, 
Um, this project aims to plant bamboo in uh, identified PRCMO sites with the vision of creating a bamboo esplanade project along the Pasig River as our future ecotourism site and the river's green belt as well. And then uh, creating bamboo hubs all over the Pasig River system and uh, also to help in cleaning the air and provide sustainable livelihood in nearby communities. So a total of 15 sites were proposed by the PRCMO and numerous site inspections and coordination meetings have already been conducted to finalize and prioritize sites to determine the bamboo species to be planted. In this regard, Estero de Pandacan was chosen to be the first implementation site which aim to start and complete in the second semester of 2021. Consequently, the PRCMO launched a pilot bamboo hub at the Estero de Pandacan um, last September 17, 2021, and I am proud to share this video with you. Please play the last video. Bamboo High in support of the celebration of World Bamboo Day today, September 18, 2021, the PRCMO is spearheaded the bamboo planting activity in Estero de Pandacan in Manila. Is Stronger Together Like Bamboo, the Pasig River Coordinating and Management Office, and the National Capital Region Regional Community Defense Group of the Philippine Army Reserve Command join forces to become environmental soldiers for a day setting aside their office uniforms and combat gear in exchange for shovels and gardening tools. All in all, almost 1,000 bamboo saplings such as kawayang tinik, Chinese bamboo, and Thai bamboo have been planted in Estero de Pandacan. This project is also said to be replicated in other identified priority areas of the Pasig River system. Did you know? that Estero de Pandacan was the tributary of the Pasig River chosen to be the pilot site for the Pasig River Bamboo Rehabilitation and Beautification Project undertaken by the PRCMO together with multi-sector partners and stakeholders the bamboo planting project is in line with the call of DNR Secretary Roy A. Simatu to promote and advance the use of bamboo in our country particularly in the Pasig River system Moreover, the grand project envisions the Pasig River system as an ecotourism site with bamboo esplanades and green belts along banks and easements, as well as bamboo hubs in minor tributaries that will help clean the air and provide sustainable livelihood in adjacent communities. Regarded as a high-value crop, bamboo is known for its high aesthetic and economic value as well as numerous environmental benefits which include stabilization of river banks, protection of biodiversity, and mitigation of climate change, on top of its huge potential to be a livelihood and economic resource for communities. As the Japanese proverb says, be like a bamboo. It bends but does not break. It's flexible yet firmly rooted. Indeed, we are stronger together just like bamboo. Sa tema na alin ng bayan sa inang kalikasang kawayan, kawayan naman ang bibida ngayong buwan ng Setyembre at magpakailanman. Sama-sama nating pangalagaan ay ipagyaman ang ating mga katubigan at kalikasan sa pamamagitan ng kawayan. Tungo sa kabuhayan, kaunlaran at magandang kinabukasan ng ating bayan. Talaga namang bambuhay ang ilog Pasig. Um, I am advocating really the bamboo. So uh, this is a reminder to all our viewers, plant only once and harvest for life. So bamboo is life. Bamboo hai, maraming salamat. Undeniably, bamboo is the next big thing. Thank you. And uh, my, I express my gratitude to the Jardin uh, Distribution for this opportunity to share our advocacy about bamboo. Thank you, Paul. Maraming salamat po, Asak Lagunda.
Dami natin natutunan ha, ano ang contribution ng bamboo. At sabi nga, abang-abangan ninyo yung mga nag- nangangarap magkaroon ng taniman dyan. Itanim na po natin ng bamboo. Sapagkat ang sabi nga ni Asek, bamboo is the next big thing. At saka yung proverbs, ang ganda ha, hindi lamang about um, you know, use of bamboo as a building material, but also, di ba, yung kaala yung 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 knowledge or wisdom behind uh, the bamboo that is firmly rooted pero flexible at nagbe-bend pero hindi na be-break. Ah. Magandang ano din po 'yan, wisdom. All right, maraming maraming salamat po Asek um, Lagunda. At tunay po kami ay nagpapasalamat sapagkat alam kong kayo ay dising DC kami po ay inyong pinaunlakan. Yan. So, if you need um, some some more information on base bahay, na-meet niyo po kanina si Engineer Jesse. So, I look forward that Jardin, um, DNR, and of course, Engineer Jesse through base bahay will be able to form partnership para po lalo pa nating pag-igihin ano, ang ating bamboo. Tama po, Engineer Jesse? Yes po, ma'am. Ayan, alright. So, on this note, I would like to say maraming maraming salamat sa aking pong mga guests ngayon. Asset and of course, um, and dear Jessie, mag-ingat po kayo and continue to be a blessing to the Filipinos po. Stay well and stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, so talagang napakapalad natin ngayon sa pagkat ang dami nating natutunan. Hindi lang natutunan no um, on bamboo but also on kung paano prinisent ni Engineer Jesse at ang ating ASEC um, John Lagunda. Yung kanilang profesyon na meron silang misyon. Hindi lamang talaga nagahanap buhay kundi may misyon. At yun ay ang misyon. Tulungan tayo mga partners, Filipino homeowners at saka future architects and engineers. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ngayon tayo ay tutungo na. Trivia muna tayo. Bago tayo magpatuloy, what is one of the fastest growing plant in the world that can grow as much as 1 meter in 24 hours? Pabilisan lamang. Nako naman, kung hindi nyo pa alam ang sagot dyan, ewan ko na lang. Alright? Sige, sige. So, you have your 100 peso Lazada voucher. And of course, yung mga nag-share kanina, you also have your voucher and Zap Roach Bait Free. Alright, Janiela, do we have a winner? Congratulations, Janela Rizueno. Oh, hindi lang natin nabalikan yung si Asik kanina. No? May patribyo din si Asik. Eh. Ang ganda. Ah, paano nga ba i-pronounce yun? I was waiting. Ano. So, Janela Rizueno, congratulations. Alright. Okay. So, again, bamboo is a versatile material and can be used in so much ways, especially sa ating mga bahay. Pero alam nyo ba, sabi nga ni Asik kanina, Hindi lamang ito pang building material. It's the next big thing even in fashion, even in, you know, um, lifestyle. Sapagkat marami na akong nakikita ngayon, straw made of bamboo tumbler. I have one, okay, um, from from DNR also when I attended one of their seminars. So, bamboo as a tumbler. May nakita pa rin ako, bamboo naman. Bilang bisikleta. Nasaan ba? Hindi lumalabas yung mga photos namin. I think meron kami yan. O, diba? And then, tumblers, may straw. Okay? Yun naman. Alright? So, talaga naman. Kesa mag-disposable po tayo, eh, gamitin natin ang bamboo. Okay? So, pagtulong-tulungan natin na mapaunlad ang ating bamboo industry. Okay? So, mga partners, hindi lamang po caring for the Filipino home ang jardin. Ano po? hindi dyan natatapos ang ating mission. JDI or Jardin Distribution is also caring for the community and also for our heritage. We partnered with the National Historical Commission of the Philippines para pangalagaan ng mga museyong pinangangalagaan nila. Sapagkat naniniwala tayo ang mga shrines, ang mga museums, mga bahay ng ating mga bayani, importante makita pa yan ang susunod na mga henerasyon. We can only move forward if we know our history. At dahil pandemic, alam namin hindi kayo makakapasyal, kami ang namasyal para sa inyo. <laughs> Oo, kami ni Partner Benji. So, nagpunta kami sa 6 Museum dito sa Metro Manila. Abangan nyo yung mga susunod. Ha? We have Iloilo, we have Ilocos also. So, yan, pagka medyo maluwag na ang mga restrictions. But for now, enjoy nyo muna 6 museums that we visited. Hindi lamang po natin binisita, pinangalagaan natin with our total termite solution and waterproofing solution. 
Here is the teaser and if you are happy with it, aba, subaybayan nyo sa ating YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe kayo mga partners para mapanood nyo lahat ito. Pinamagatan namin, tara partners, biyahe tayo! Good morning mga partners! Samahan nyo kami sa aming biyahe sa iba't ibang museyo sa Pilipinas. Correct ka dyan, partner Benji! Kilalanin natin at balikan ang ating mga kasaysayan sa pamamagitan ng pagbisita sa mga museyong pinangangalagaan ng the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Katuwang ang Jardin Distribution dahil kami ay caring for the Filipino heritage. Kaya partners, tara! Biyahe tayo! O, oh, diba? Enjoy! So, ngayong weekend, yan na po ang isa lang ninyo sa inyong mga YouTube channel. Tara, partners, biyahe tayo. At sabihin nyo sa amin, kung meron pa kayong gustong puntahan, pupuntahan natin yan at ipeperserve natin yan. Alright, sa so mga students natin na naka-attend ngayon, maraming marami kayo ngayon, naka-attend ng webinar, don't forget to answer the survey in the comment section for us to give you your certificate. Please indicate your full name as it will serve as our guide in creating your e-certificate. This e-certificate will be signed by our speakers kanina po, ni Asek, Lagunda, and of course, Engineer Jesse. It is really a good build-up sa inyong mga resume, mga partners. And of course, apart from that, you are now a certified, di ba? Experienced future professional who knows and understands kung ano ba ang benepisyo ng bamboo as a building material. Huwag lang kalimutan, i-treat ang bamboo with solignum, the tried, tested, and trusted wood preservative. Okay? So, yan. So, kung gusto nyo pang matuto, mga partners, meron tayong e-learning. Libre po yan. It's an e-learning platform that you can see now on your screen. You can take three modules. We have Total Termite Solution, Waterproofing, and Timber Protection. The link is also being shared now in your um, in the comment section. Pagka po pinindot niyan, libre yan, you will be given, I think, uh, 15 or 30 days to go through the modules. Actually, one hour lang. Pwede mo nang aralin. And then, you can take the exam. Once you pass, you won't only get one certificate. If you pass the three, you will get three certificates. I-add mo pa tong certificate na to. So, you have now four certificates to build with your resume. Okay? Sa so mga partners, tandaan po natin. Enroll na tayo. Okay. So, dyan po tayo nagtatapos ngayon. Ha? But let me just check my comment section. Just in case may mga katanungan. Wow! Wow! Sabi po nila, bamboo, bamboo, bambuhay. Oh, I like also that. Bambuhay! Ganda, diba? Tsaka nakakaaliw ang ating mga presenter. Talagang, we can feel the passion sa kanila. So, thankful talaga tayo. Right? So, mga ka-partners at mga ka-student ko, welcome tayo sa classmate mo sa construction. Learning is just a click away. Go, go, go. Take this opportunity, guys. Lalo na ito naman ay online. Alright? Okay? Sige. So, for now, kung wala kayong ibang katanungan or inquiry, I'd like to congratulate all the winners. And again, congratulations to Je um, Engineer Jesse. Okay, and of course, thank you again to our um, ASEC Joe and the Bunda. Okay. Please follow us on our Facebook page, Jardin Distribution, Jardin Distribution YouTube channel, Jardin Distribution page, Instagram, and kapartner mo sa Construction Viber Group. Kami po ay nagtatapos at magpapaalam ngayon pero magkita-kita tayo muli sa susunod nating live episode sa October. Meanwhile, lahat ng mga na-miss out yung live episode, makikita nyo yan sa ating YouTube channel. Ako muli ang inyong partner sa construction and in caring for the Filipino home, in caring for the heritage, Filipino heritage, and caring for our community. Kasama ko ang mga partner sa likod ng studio, sa likod ng camera. DJ Jason, Joanna Christine, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo partners. Hanggang sa muli, I'd like to thank all the professors also na inimbitahan natin at nag-encourage sa ating mga students to join us today. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hanggang sa muli, please stay well para makita kita tayo ulit sa October FB Live natin. Bye for now! Bye!